Hi Geekers! So today I have a very unusual type of video and it's because at Geek School in the past 10 years to be honest we get requests from a whole range of parents, adults, even sometimes children get in touch. And there's one area that I've realised in the past few years that tends to hold a lot of um, 16 plus or adults behind. And this is not having uh, GCSE English or GCSE Maths. And, um, you know, some of you parents may be watching and you may have aspirations to go into nursing, policing or some other career. But because you don't have a GCSE in English or Maths, you feel that, you know, you can't get ahead and you have to stay in the job that you probably, you know, don't look forward to necessarily doing every morning. It's not the career that you aspire to. And maybe it looks like it's going to be a long time before you can get anywhere near progressing onto that course or that career. You might also be a parent who's worried about your child's potential to even pass their GCSEs and you're worried that they might not be able to get into college or onto an apprenticeship. Now, the news is that you don't actually need GCSE Maths or GCSE English in order to do any of those things. And there is an easier route and a route that is also recognised by colleges, universities and employers. And that's what this video is about today. I say it's unusual because we tend to focus a lot more on 11 plus exams, the UK education system, GCSE, creative writing and so on. But this is very important and I know that um, the information that I'll be sharing in this video is going to help so many people. Okay, so if you're still watching this video, let me just introduce myself, especially if you are new to the Geek School YouTube channel. My name is Joycelyn Akufo. I'm the Managing Director of Geek School Tutoring. Yes, we are a decade old. And on top of that, we specialise in 11 plus exam preparation, helping children to reach their dream of getting into a grammar or independent school. In fact, in this year of 2023, we had a 100% pass rate for Kent Medway and the Bexley test. Now, Geek School also has uh, a number of sister sites, 11plusessay.co.uk and functifylearning.co.uk. So some of you will be wondering, what on earth is Functify Learning? What a name. Well, Functify Learning is basically where um, it's our website, um, where we offer our functional skills courses. So you'd probably be wondering, what on earth are functional skills? Well, basically, functional skills courses cover English, maths and ICT. So all the IP and, um, you know, computer based communication skills. At Functify Learning, we actually help um, young adults and adults, so year 11 and older, to get uh, recognised English or maths qualification that employers, colleges and universities accept. Yes, universities actually accept these qualifications as well. So they are called functional skills qualifications and they have been around for about a decade. But for some reason, uh, not everybody seems to know what they are or of their existence at all. Now, the beauty of functional skills is that the content of these exams I think are very much more accessible. Not just do I think, I know this because I teach it. I've taught it to young adults. I teach it to adults as well. Um, so mature students, um, you know, those that want to get into teaching, into nursing, into policing, into all sorts of careers, but for some reason didn't get or haven't got a GCSE maths or English qualification. 
with functional skills, you're actually testing um, on topics that actually are, are actually quite beneficial to everyday life. So, for instance, writing an email, um, you know, to query something, writing an email to show your um, appreciation, writing an email to the council, for instance, because maybe you're worried about something like littering, etc. in your community. These are all skills that are important to everyday life. At some point, we will all, as adults, have to communicate with another person or an organisation or an official organisation. And functional skills actually gives its um, students the ability to develop these skills. And that's what you're tested on for the English paper. With the maths, you're not going to be working on things like trigonometry, circle theorem, and, you know, some of those other topics that uh, are often just impenetrable for many. Why? Not because we are not smart enough to do them, but um, because we have no interest. And, you know, for many adults and young people even, knowing that you're never going to have to use trigonometry doesn't exactly encourage and inspire the learning of these um, techniques. And it just puts people off. With functional skills maths, you actually learn maths that is relevant to your everyday life. So, for instance, um, you know, going to the shops and seeing those massive red signs telling us that there are discounts, etc. There are sales, etc. Closing down sales or just, you know, end of season sales. And you want to calculate how much that 20% off or 30% off means for your uh, what was a £50 jacket or something, how much will I be paying now? These are the types of skills that are tested, taught and developed with functional skills qualifications. And, you know, they're also relevant in the workplace and in everyday life. And because of this, I find that students tend to find it just a bit more enjoyable because it's more relatable. And you can think of a time when you will definitely be needing to apply those skill sets. So the beauty of functional skills is that, yes, it's very relevant to everyday life. The other amazing thing about functional skills is that unlike your traditional GCSE courses, you do not take a year to complete them. If you go to a college, they'll probably sign you up for six months, nine months, a year, etc. Maybe longer if you're combining functional skills level one and two, and it will take you some time to complete them. Now, at Functify Learning, we don't do that. I'm very much a proponent of, um, you know, enabling people to move on to the next level of their journey. So what that means is, um, we have a robust teaching uh, system, which also has the benefit of a 24-7 on-demand video tutorials, mock tests, uh, sample papers, etc. And that means that you can actually um, complete the course much faster than that. So, you know, I've helped students complete the course in as little as two months, basically. So the way it works is that there's a pre-assessment to see what level you're working at. That will determine whether you're more in line with the level one course and you should focus on completing that and then moving on to the level two for English or maths or both. And then we get into the learning and the confidence building, the knowledge building of the course. So it will greatly help in um, helping students to get through the course. And obviously, we don't want students to fail. So there are mock tests so that you can see how ready you are, how likely you are to pass the functional skills exam before you take them. And this is something that many colleges don't do. Many private providers of functional skills training don't do. What usually happens is you pay for 
the course and the exam and you know whether you pass or fail or not um you know that's your lot basically we don't do that so the idea is that with taking the mock tests etc you will know that you have a high chance of passing because you'll see how you've done and then you can confidently sit the exam now let's talk about another beautiful thing about our functional skills provision of course, you can come and attend a face-to-face -face course at our Beckenham Centre. We are actually a Highfield approved centre. Highfield is an uh, examining body, an awarding body of functional skills courses. But you can do your course and the exam all online. And this, to me, is one of the benefits because you know, uh, whether you're a student, a working parent, a carer, you know, or, you know, just somebody who is in full-time employment, it means that you don't have to wait. You don't have to lose out on hours at work, etc., in order to take this course or to sit the exam. The exam can be sat from the comfort of your own home. And again, that is something that is quite significant because it just means that um, it's more accessible. There's nothing holding anyone back from gaining a GCSE equivalent qualification. And you can do that wherever you are in England learning the course content and sitting the exam as well. So why is the video here on the Geek School YouTube channel? Because I know that there are some parents watching who are thinking about going into another career, but because of this blip <laughs> along the way, because of a lack of GCSE English or maths qualification, it's not feasible for you to get onto such a course. Now you have that option. Now you have that option. And if you're a parent who is worried or a student, a year 11, who's worried about not being able to pass your GCSE English or maths and you don't want to have to reset and be held back a year, head over to functifylearning.co.uk and you will get to see uh, the actual comparison um, between the GCSE paper and the functional skills paper. And I bet you anything, you'll see that actually it's something you can definitely do so that you can get onto, um, be it your apprenticeship, your college course, etc., without having to repeat something you know you dislike already. So I hope that's been helpful to you. Please share this video. It's always amazing to be able to help other people to achieve their goals, goals as well. Bye.